The Armour All Summer Grill, your off-season fix of V8 supercars news and views with Grant Rowley and Cameron McConville. The Armour All Summer Grill returns today with part one on our videos on the car of the future, the next generation of V8 supercars which will hit our track in 2013. It's been one of the biggest talking points for the past 12 months in the sport and Mark Scaife has led the project. Speedcafe.com, Stefan Bartholomeus spoke to him in Sydney at the launch. Mark Scaife, we don't make wholesale regulation changes too often in this sport, so a very big day. Oh, very, very big day. I mean, you know, a thousand days of planning and building and uh, another 400 days before we race these cars. So uh, very, you know, I think it's an exciting time for our sport. Certainly something that we've worked very hard on and certainly something that we're keen to ensure that this is the basis now, the new platform for the next 10 years of Fiat Supercar Racing. It's no secret that a big part of this deal is to try to attract new manufacturers to the sport. Where, where is that process right now? Oh, well, we've had, I, I would say, a huge amount of communication with manufacturers on this. There is genuine interest uh, for them to come and compete in you know, what is the number one uh, motorsport product in this part of the world. So as we regionalise it, it's not just Australia and New Zealand. There's obviously events in Texas and Southeast Asia, etc., Middle East. So there's, there's from car company participation standpoint, it's more of a regional spend than it is just Australia or New Zealand. So we've done everything we can to ensure that their way of, of introducing or way of coming into the game could be easy and, and done effectively. Cost reduction for the teams, also a massive point. Prototype program hasn't been cheap, but are you confident that it will actually roll out cheaper for the teams? Well, we already know. We, we already know what those cars have cost us. We already know that there's a substantial cost reduction as a consequence and a substantial cost reduction in terms of accident damage. So the two things for us make the teams more viable as a consequence. You build four cars for the same price as three. You've already had a steer at a couple of different circuits. What's your read on how the cars feel and how that will affect the racing? Yeah, look, I mean, the car's lighter. You know, the 18-inch Dunlop tyre is better tyre. Um, it's got bigger brakes. Um, it's got independent rear suspension. It's got better weight distribution. The engine's moved back 100 mil. So all the key design features make it almost more race car-like, make it more sort of Porsche-like. And I'm, you know, I'm confident that it will have a real impact on the racing quality. That was Mark Scaife with Stefan. Cam, Scaife was very bullish about having more manufacturers come into the sport. Is that what it needs? Uh, look, I don't know, to, to be honest, Grant. I think the jury's still out whether we need more manufacturers or not. The, the Ford Holden rivalry, which we've talked about on previous episodes, is very strong. You know, the car doesn't look aesthetically much different, which is perhaps not such a bad thing because if it ain't broken, you know, don't try and fix it. But at the same token, the marketplace for road cars is changing rapidly out there. A lot more European cars in the market and the Asia Pacific as well. So I think the manufacturers that we will see will be more the, the Asian based. I'm not sure who yet, uh, but certainly uh, I know Tony Cochran I spoke to uh, at Homebush and he's pretty confident that we'll see at least three or four manufacturers come in for 2013. That's the first of two videos on the car of the future. Tomorrow we'll talk more about the test program. You're on speedcafe.com's Armour All Summer Grill.